Right, hello everyone. Uh, just another quick update video. Um, wanted to address just one or two things. Uh, mainly, I felt I kind of needed to make this because I will be moving, as you will probably know by now, to Norwich to go to university uh, very, very soon. In fact, it'll be anywhere between, not quite decided exact well, on the exact day yet, but it'll be anywhere between the uh, 15th and the 22nd of uh, September, so very soon basically. And what is that going to mean? Well, basically, what my plan is to get as much recording as I can done between now and then and uh, upload it over that kind of period of time and beyond so I have stuff to upload for you guys to watch while I'm um, off doing whatever. Uh, because once I initially get settled in, um, in Norwich, I won't have a lot of time to do recording and stuff, I imagine, but after that, it'll be kind of a little bit back to normal, hopefully, anyway. Um, I still don't know what the internet situation is going to be like over there and all that kind of stuff, but uh, I'm assuming it won't be too bad. Um, the college is quite well off, so, you know. Uh, so, yeah, basically, I'm going to be uploading a bunch of stuff, um, and you, might, you guys may want to pace yourselves a bit with it. That's all I'm saying because uh, I don't know when I'll be able to upload more after that once I've uploaded all the finished uh, things I've done up to that point. So, you know, just be aware of that. Um, other than that, there's not really, not really a lot to say. I just wanted to make a video kind of explaining exactly what was going on with that. Other than that, uh, yeah, more Oblivion has ended. I am sad about that too, guys. I'm really, it's really great to hear all the uh, nice comments you've left actually on the video. Um, I thought people would be a bit pissed off, but uh, you've all been quite supportive. Oh, and um, uh, a lot of people say, though, you make make sure you've got your more more Oblivion ESM loaded uh, after your Oblivion ESM, and uh, yep, yeah, that was the case. So um, yeah, that wasn't the problem either. It remains a mystery to me, I'm afraid. I, in fact, um, it's been a bit, a bit of a pain because it. it even now I've had to reinstall the game a fourth time now completely from scratch I'm still in the process of doing it now actually uh, while I'm recording this and uh, it's a pain because uh, even when I deactivated all the more oblivion stuff it still kept some of it in there for some reason uh, and one of the annoying side effects of this was I couldn't create any custom classes ever with a new character it just crashed the game outright which is really really frustrating a bit of a game breaker for me really um, so yeah, I've got to reinstall the bloody thing a fourth time. Um, in regards to what's coming next, uh, I've made a decision. Uh, we're not doing Nairim. That can wait, I think, until a bit later on. Um, maybe after I'm done with Grimrock, perhaps. Um, I've decided I'm not going to do Skyrim uh, for, a, well, one very good reason, really. The game is still kind of being updated by Bethesda. Very much so, in fact. They're constantly adding like, new features as well as bug fixes and stuff like that. And, you know, I don't want to be in the same position, as much as I'd like to do a Skyrim Let's Play, um, I don't want to be in the same position as, say, Squee is stuck in right now. If you've been watching his stuff, keeping up with him, basically, uh, he's doing a Skyrim Let's Play, but he can't get beyond the first episode that he's done because um, the latest patch for Skyrim basically screwed up his game and messed up all the custom uh, modded quest lines and stuff he had loaded into it and he can't go any further with it which is a huge pain in the bum for both him and his subscribers uh, me included uh, because I was enjoying watching it um, and I don't want to be stuck in a similar position where Bethesda adds something new in an expansion pack or a patch and it will basically end the LP permanently or temporarily because of some random problem or conflict or whatever so I, I think that as, as much as I'd like to do a Skyrim Let's Play, and some people did say that they felt that Oblivion was actually better to RP in than Skyrim, and uh, as a bit of a side tangent here, I actually disagree. I find Skyrim much, much uh, better for role-playing in, um, but that's a discussion for another time. We don't have enough uh, uh, hours in the day to talk about that right now. Um, so yeah, basically I will be doing a very, very heavily modded, mind you, Oblivion Let's Play, one which is, I'm still installing mods right now and downloading them. As I said, I'm still in the process of getting all this stuff reinstalled. Uh, but it's going to be a very heavily modded Let's Play um, of uh, Oblivion. Just standard, well, not standard, of course, because it's heavily modded. And I will be doing, I am installing and will be doing uh, a few um, 
modded quest lines as well because I, I quite like modded quest lines and there's a bunch there's a, there's a handful of really really good ones out there for uh, um, for Oblivion like for example Ruin Tales Tale which is what Squee did in his um, Let's Play of Oblivion if you've not watched that I really highly recommend it it's one of the best I've ever actually seen on YouTube full stop um, so yeah I I've got got it all kind of planned out, I've got a character in mind, I've got a kind of plan for what I'm going to do in the playthrough, thought out in my head, uh, and it's all going well, as long as it all goes according to plan in terms of the mods working perfectly and stuff like that, it should be really good, uh, and I think you're all going to enjoy it quite a lot without me uh, going into too many spoilers here, but I think you guys will like it, and also, um, yeah, I've completely forgotten what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> that's typical, isn't it? Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. And I, I'm genuinely excited to get started on this now, actually. Now I finally managed to get this all planned out in my head. And uh, I've looked up all these mods I want to get installed for and stuff like that. Um, I know it seems daft of me to go down the heavily modded route right after having so many problems with more Oblivion, but I, I'm, I'm fairly confident it's not going to be quite as bad. These mods have had a lot of time to mature and have bug fixes for them, and they've got walkthroughs for them as well and that sort of thing, so it's uh, we're not too much in the dark on this one. Um, so yeah, sounds really cool. Right now, all I've got to do is struggle through the installation process of all these things, get all their compatibility patches installed and test it all out to make sure it works. Um, but, uh, yeah, it'll be worth it. So anyway, until then, uh, I shall see you all later, and, uh, uh, you may, may well be, uh, Friday by the time this video goes up, so if that's the case, have a good weekend, everyone. So yeah, turn out for now. <laughs>